today's topic is what are home remedies my dear friends that is so what how do we come out of this gynecological problems for the women the woman is suffering from the basically three gynecological gynecological problems gynecology problems what gynecology problems are there three so number one the whatever the cyst whatever the cyst happen in the ovary and number two whatever the fibroids come to the comes in the uterus the three number three is pregnancy issues so these are the major three issues which you know, every human will be suffering now so once are a, once are a while once in a uh, once in a time you know, time and again and different uh, uh, timings also different uh, ways also she is suffering so when she is suffering with these three things when you go to the modern hospital they test and they declare that so this cyst is very huge and it's got a more size or whatever so it has to be removed so then what will happen they start you know they will uh, if it is a small they will uh, they what they what will happen they will try with the medicine if it is a big they want to do the operation they say that go for operation so then what will happen friends slowly slowly ovaries so ovaries will be removed sometimes if it is a big in size of the cyst at the same time so fibroids inside the, the so called the garbashia garbashia means we can say it's a so the uh, especially in uh, uterus uterus also these fibroids keeps happening right why this will come all that we can discuss but i'm um, so i'm trying to say to cut short friends what will happen is these three three problems which women is facing so today we are trying to find a solution through the acupressor basically so in order to come out of this problem three problems so cyst in the ovarian fibroids in the uterus and pregnancy issues okay let's see let's see all these things so briefly through the uh, uh, ppt so let i'll i'll show you through the ppt then you will understand more about it right yes friends so now so as i said there are three problems three gynecological problems which you know one is facing so the three the first one that is cyst in ovaries cyst in ovaries whenever ovaries uh, in the cyst happens my dear friends what are the symptoms the women will be going through there is abdominal swelling and pain will come and vomiting and nausea will come and uh, anything they eat no they then they get vomiting basically and uh, dull pain in the back and the thighs a lot of pain, pain will come and pain in during sex that also will happen problem in passing urine completely there is also going to be experiencing weight gain will happen pain during pain periods a lot of pain will come during periods abdominal abdominal uh, abnormal abnormal bleeding bleeding also happens these are the symptoms if someone has got cyst in the ovarian please understand this please note it down right now the second one is symptoms in the uterine symptoms of fibroids in the uterus friends so what is that first symptom is excessive menstrual bleeding happens pelvic pain will come frequent urination pain during sex so this is these are the four symptoms of fibroids in the uterus friends so whenever you have that so with these four symptoms you can identify easily or anyway you, you go to whenever you, this happens obviously you go to the modern hospital then you diagnose then you will try to understand of course the diagnosis helps for this kind of situations right they try to measure that uh, the size of the so called um, the fibroid or a cyst whatever it happens they will measure it and they will tell you the size also then basing on that what happen either you need to go to the ayurveda or homeo or if it is very big in size they will remove it so sometimes they will remove the uterus itself many times they remove the uterus spreads that is also part of you know they, it became say it became a one kind of a commercial element nowadays yeah, so many i observe so many uh, you know uh, women they are getting removed this uterus that is going to be a biggest problem once the uterus is removed friends what will happen your menstruation stops completely the moment you your menstruation start completely what happen you enter into the stage of menopause so menopause what will happen friends there are many many unnecessary symptoms comes right unnecessary symptom comes you will be suffering you will be suffering a lot so especially with with this meno, menopause uh, uh, the qualities whatever happens right so this um, um menopause menopause symptoms are separately it will be there and you will be suffering suffering a lot because of removal of the uterus especially so a lot of depression comes anxiety will happen the you know yeah, any menopause woman you observe a lot of depression they will be going through so, a lot of like you know a lot of hormonal imbalance basically whenever this uh, so called the uterus is removed what will happen then there is no question of 
generating this uh, so called hormones hormones imbalance starts so one hormone will be always coming other hormone will not be secreting at all so then if this happens that is prostrogen prostrogen and estrogen there are two hormones basically which conducts the entire this you know the so called menstrual cycle your uh, so called uh, uterus uh, activities everything will be conducted by this particular two hormones whenever you remove this uterus then what will happen so it start uh, in getting into imbalance once the imbalance starts what happen then you enter into lot of other problems a lot of other side effects happen friends so that's why we need to be careful about this particular situation so should not undergo unnecessary uh, so called operation and removing the uterus so try to again go to the other solution approach the other methods alternative methods i told many methods right so go to the ayurveda go to the uh, so called uh, homeopathy uh, siddha medicine uh, and go to the naturopathy wherever you go try to solve it and come out of this issues all menstrual cycle menstrual irregularities i have taught so many mudras also so much acupressure also so somehow something you have to use and come out of it so only the last option final option if it is fibroid is too much like you know 1 kg 2 kg of fibroid right then of course you have to remove it so because your uterus cannot hold it and then it becomes a, a basic you know a very big problem for you because there is so much bleeding will go abnormal bleeding will happen so that's why you have to be you got to be careful friend right? now so what are the problems you face in the pregnancy if there are any hormonal problem after the birth of the baby uterus and ovarian hormones so this thing given during menstrual cycle can be activated right so what happens we have already told some of the points if at all you find out any hormonal imbalance after the baby birth also you find any hormonal imbalance just follow the some acupressure point given yesterday part of menstruation cycle right that point what that particular acupressure points please activate it right so that also you can do and now so the other thing is it is important for a woman to sleep sleep well as it helps balance the body hormones so the woman has to get proper sleep that is after the baby birth or whatever by the time hormonal imbalance is definitely could happen so if she takes care takes care of her sleep properly like you know all working women what happened after she became you know mother and the baby birth happened so very shortly they go to the work again then what will happen their sleep is disturbed then uh, they won't get proper sleep there's a lot of stress will accumulate ultimately they end up in lot of troubles health issues friends so that's how it's happening in the modern life that's what you have to so you'll be seeing everywhere right right so now so these are the problems of the pregnancy and there are some don'ts for the pregnancy during the pregnancy what are those so do not activate these elements during pregnancy number one stomach related stomach related acupressure points points from feet that also should have done kidney k10 point that i will be showing in the picture kidney k10 point should not be operated spleen and gland gallbladder points should not be operated these acupressure points should not be operated when you are pregnant woman right friends now so let's see the solutions for ovarian cyst especially what are the points you can operate so that you will come out of this so called the ovarian cyst problem cyst happened in the ovarian so first of all enable the following points friends so one is you see here you there is a one point in the left hand side so the on the hand you can see left the right hand so over is point your wrist point so here you can you point here your over is point and your wrist point so these two points you must you know try to activate these two points here on the hand on the leg you see there is a spleen 6 spleen 6 point so basically not spleen 6 point for the over and cyst you must stop it spleen 1 point that is on the foot on the foot on the thumb on the toe on the toe right hand side there is a one point that's called spleen one point that has to be operated that is the second step in order to cure the ovarian cyst first step is uterus and ovaries which are shown to two points on the right hand must be operated second is spleen one point has to be operated third one is kidney 10 point behind the knee so see here on the third picture there is a behind this is a behind knee not this is front of the knee okay always understand behind the knee this this particular place where so it is like a some halo will be there some halo there the point is there these two points are called caten points please operate this in order to come out of the ovarian cyst also my dear friends now now going to the uterine, uterine fibroids in order to cure the fibroids what shall be done especially friends activate the stomach point located for the four toes below the knee bone see here 
the whatever uh, the st36 that is a stomach point especially it is on the uh, on the so called the the particular leg you know that point is there so this point has to be like uh, under the knee the exactly knee joint is there you know? from the knee joint four fingers width we keep four fingers width like this the knee under the knee under the knee four fingers width then you get its point it's called st36 stomach point so please uh, start operating how do you operate any point to operate i already i told in many classes you have to press it and five seconds keep it then release it five seconds keep it release it so that's how 20 to 30 times any or uh, any particular acupressure point should be must be operated now so see spleen six point please activate spleen six point also you are seeing on the first picture that also need to be activated on the ankle on the ankle from the ankle of the foot so about four four finger width above for locate one point then that point is called spleen six point please activate that now liver one point you, you observe here on the right side picture the the you know, right right side on the toe there's a right hand side one point is there it's called liver one point please activate this so with this three point all these uh, you know three points my dear friends you can cure the come out you can come out of the fibroids of your dress friends now so with this friends so we are closing our session thank you so much dhaniwa to all of you for listening very patiently till now thank you so much